Right, well, after hacking the other mini moto frame, which was perfectly okay, in a, a millionth of a millimeter from the edge of its existence, I realized the brackets that I got in those little tubs, they're thick, they're solid, they're very neat. I could maybe get three of them to pull off an engine mount. Don't think they're going to do it by themselves though. Right. So yeah, I did chop up the frame because I seen a shape and I thought, oh, hold on, I get rid of this. I thought if we could get this over here, ugh, balanced like this, we could put something over here. And then a tube coming up so we could put a seat in and as you can see that would turn it into a sit-down scooter kind of but seems too messing about too rough I don't want too many bits of metal all over the place and when I seen these brackets I thought they're strong I could just get them straight onto the frame and raise it at whatever height I need it. So, we need to kind of keep these in place and mark out roughly. We need to find a way of getting them on here without interfering with the bolt or the axle. And then at the same time we need to mount to the engine plate where it's not going to interfere with the bolts and at the same time make sure the chain is free from the axle or mounts on the other side so a bit tricky but we'll get at it see where we go oh yes carnage is my middle name but we're not using that well we chopped this part off we had that went ahead and I mounted one of these brackets lined it kind of up banged it on we've not even stuck an engine on it yet to see if the engine will line up so I need to clean up where are we a little weld I have over here because it welded the washer on so I need to clean this up so it can just slip on and off so it would have been better taking a little half moon out of here so it could have been welded and still not interfere with that but ah, we don't care about that we'll just grind it away now on the other side where are we oh on this side we've got one bracket just a part of it coming up and stopping here oh did you see it's not joined it's just a bit too low but we've got several other like little chunks that have been cut off like this and these will weld onto the top of that bracket and come over and meet that one and then we'll run a second bracket up here into the middle just to strengthen it and we should be good to go because a chain should make it round here the only problem is where I've had to mount it I think might just be out of reach of what that chain can reach so we might have to get a different chain of the same size that has a split link this one doesn't have one this chain here no split links anywhere in it so we're going to need a 25h 6 millimeter chain with a split link so that we can pick and choose what size now there is a chain tensioner here it's absolutely no use now but I'll see if I can maybe attach it over here somewhere so that it can keep tension against the chain so we don't have to worry about moving the engine about in order to keep the chain tight we'll just use a tensioner uh, that's really it for just now it was a pain after grinding up all this check this out, this is my cutting disc oh, it was it's like one of those 1990s mini discs no so when it was in my grinder 
by the time it was attached it couldn't reach in to cut anything so I was stuffed for trying to chop all this up any further so then I just got the brackets and I've just been cutting them with a hacksaw so lots of cutty cutty action set you up so so far we have this mount here so the engine should line up like so but we have no wheel in so we can't tell how close to the cog line up it is and to be honest with you there's not really any room for messing it up so it pretty much has to be bang on in alignment although the holes here do have a little bit of movement I might be able just to shove something like a file in there and bring these holes longer so it's got more move sideways but we'll clean this up first get the wheel on and check the alignment with the wheel on first before we make any drastic moves so see you there right well we have a dilemma we'll sit you somewhere where you can see now the chain the actual engine lines up very very well for being just a hit and hope but the chain only just makes it to the sprocket to the actual center pin so we are literally two or three millimeters out from fitting perfectly gutted so I'm going to have to come up with a way of dropping this down. I don't want to cut through the bar. Do not want to cut through the bar at this side and then re-weld it. I want it to stay strong. So I need to get, I need to get the engine closer to the wheel just. There's about 10 mil of space here. I could be done with five of that. Yeah, the wheel might expand with speed, but it's not going to expand that much. So we could get that down pretty close to the wheel without it interfering. It's just a shame I've went through all that hard work and we're a few mil out. So I need to come up with a way of making that fit. You know, I've just thought of something. We could grind out the little slits down here, grind them up a little bit higher which should bring the wheel closer to this and the chain closer to this yeah that would be the easiest way that means not messing around with anything just pulling everything apart and grounding these holes a little bit deeper so that they're elongated higher not too high we'll do it a little bit by bit and we'll check the wheel to see if it's getting closer and closer to here so we use a bit of foam or something as a spacer to let us know that if it's touching it we're pretty much on it we need to make sure both sides are equal though but yeah that's a mega shortcut then taking everything apart chopping it down make it refit nightmare that welder the mig 100 it's not too bad i mean it it's like a licky sticky hot glue gun it does stick stuff together. I wouldn't say the penetration's too amazing, especially on this, but it was eating away at it. So the welds are going to hold for what it is, but it's not. It's not a welder, is it? Is it, Big Rab? That's not a welder. Eh? That's a welter. That puts welts on metal. Look at that. So I, I'm a newbie welter. I like weltering. But, yeah, grinding these slits out will be the next move. But that'll be away for another video. I've done loads of work today. Now I need to go in and moan until my belly gets filled. But we're on it. Engine is on it. It's a bit far back, but we want it so that he can try doing wheelies as well. So he can try and ride it and lift it a little bit. So he's like, eh, eh. we'll probably put some kind of sissy bar on the back to stop it from actually totally flipping over. Something just like poking out the back like that so it's not too close to the ground but if he lifts it'll stop it it's going to be a nightmare driving with a plastic wheel on it but we're getting there 
engine is mounted it's pretty much in line chains an issue can't believe this chains actually going to fit it like if we can modify it a couple of mil for the chain to fit that would just be amazing no messing around I wanted it low I didn't want it high because I reckon this thing will get maybe up to about 30 mile an hour because there's no gears on it there's no gearing to like slow it down 4 to 1 or whatever which we might put on it at some point but for just now this is where it's at should be a laugh I was I nearly got a hold of another wheel that was inflatable like this one but the guy told me it was inflatable and I went all the way over there and it wasn't so we've got a few ads up for some metal and some mini motos and frames and scooters so if people answer the ads and donate I've let them know they can see the projects being built on the channel so that might push somebody to get rid of some of the junk they've got in their shed but this is where it's at just now see you on the next one guys bye